That was quaint. Yeah, quaint. Well, we like it. So, what next? How about if you render us a tune? Render a tune? Oh, you mean sing a song. I don't know. Our music would translate out here. You would understand. What kind of songs do you sing, cousin? Yeah, are they like the songs we sing? Not at all. Very different. Like how? See, our songs are what you call cool. Yeah.
And they found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. All three of them were lying in a manger? It must have been pretty crowded. Yeah, for real. Hey, Uncle Yule. <laughs> yeah? Well, uh... Daddy wants to know what happened next. Well, you know, it happened like this.
It was like a mystery novel or something. The more they heard, the more they wanted to hear. Yeah, but they did never try to hog the dolls at Granny's table, but over a peanut butter sandwich and a glass of milk, them city kids got an earful of the gospel.
to decorate the Christmas tree and hear the Christmas story. In fact, then Paul and Ma seemed to enjoy their jobs too. Their dad forgot about the office party he was missing. And their mom forgot about her headache. That night, they all gathered around and no we will pray, thanking God for bringing them all together. And them city kids heard the real Christmas story for the first time. It's hard to believe, I guess, that there are people all around us who don't know the Christmas story. I reckon there's someone here who ain't heard it or needs to hear it again. From Caesar Augustus that all the world shall be taxed, and all went to be taxed, even the ones in his own city. Joseph also came from Galilee, from the city of Nazareth, unto Judea, the city of David, also called Bethlehem, to be taxed with Mary as his spouse wife, also being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, for there was no room for them in the inn. And they were the same good shepherds, abiding in the field, keeping the watch of the flock on it. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them. But they were so afraid. But the angel said, Fear not, for behold, I bring good tidings of great joy to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord, and this shall be assigned to you. You shall find the baby wrapped in swaddling clothes, laying in the manger. And suddenly there was an angel um, a, the multitude of heavenly hosts Christ. God said, Glory to God, and on earth peace, good to his men. And it came to pass that the angels were gone away from them into heaven. The shepherds said to one another, Let us now go even unto Bethlehem and see the state that has come to pass, which the Lord hath made unto us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in the manger. So the story about the city kids in the country, well, it may or not have really happened. But the other story, the story about the Savior being born in a barn, it did happen. He was a real baby with a really special purpose. He was God's son and he was sent down to make us all brothers and sisters in him, not just long distance cousins. That's all we come to tell y'all folks. And so go tell others about what you have heard today. And tell them how it all happened in the country. <laughs> Bethlehem. Oh.